Good evening and welcome to it. Go Monday Night Football. Lago Soe to TV. Kamala Mukamzambata as we now reflect on what's been happening in the DSTV Premiership and of course the African adventure that Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns find themselves on. Speaking of Mamelodi Sundowns, just today they were able to register yet another victory. It sees them go 20 games unbeaten so far this season. So don't, remember, don't forget, we also want to get your engagements and thoughts on that because that is a big, big milestone. Hashtag MNF on Soweto TV. Now let's see my panel. I introduce you, Timothy Batabayera. I've got Greg Atafia and Billy Lemyandu joining me in the house. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Let's start with um, the big news, the big result of the day against Chipa United, Mamelodi Sundowns, Velile getting themselves another three points. They went into the game, half time they were leading, then Chipa equalized, but it was that man again, Peter Shalulile, critical. Yes, I think if you look at in the first half, um, Chipa never really a threat. Um, Sundowns today, uh, with a bit of luck, maybe they could have scored more goals. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then also, I think, looking at the game, you, you, you get to understand and see why Chipa is in this uh, tough situation it is, mm -hmm. it is in now. I mean, remember, Chakuma won this past weekend, mm -hmm. and that has got huge implications sure. uh, for Chipa United um, in as far as relegation battle is concerned. Mm. So I think Sundowns, 20 games unbeaten, uh, beating the record of Kaiser Chiefs mm. since set uh, six years ago um, under Stuart Baxter. So, so, so it's very interesting. Uh, and, and I think for me, it was good for Sundowns to bounce back yeah. um, after losing um, against uh, Sarah Bello's dad. Yeah, in a dad game. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it was a bit yeah, of a dad but, game, but, but, still, but still, in yeah. terms of in terms of the record books, it's gonna be a <laughs> yes. Loss. In terms of the twenty-eight game and yeah. beaten run, sure. you know, you, you and, and also, I mean, Sundowns they were losing for the first time mm. uh, at home in four years in the Champions yeah, League. For sure. Um. So, which, which was something big mm. uh, for for them uh, to, to 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 lose like that. But you you kind of understand because they the technical team is trying to give other players a sure, chance. Sure. Exactly. Uh, Make their legs stronger mm. because Lots of the running is. is, is, is uh, <laughs> and, and remember, they, they are also uh, going for a trouble. For sure. Yeah, you know, they're sure. playing today, they're playing on Thursday against mm. Pirates. Yeah. And if they beat Pirates, they play again on Sunday. Right. You know, so you need everyone to be ready. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I'm happy for Peter Shalulile, you know. Um, he's really doing the business. Yes. He's really doing the business. Mm. 15 goals in 28 matches, seven assists. Mm. Wow. I mean, that's a direct contribution of. Um, what 20 because that's I mean 50 million no no uh, <laughs> that's 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 22 goals yes yeah. you know in terms yeah. of direct contribution now for sure mm -hmm. you know for sure. 22 so goals. goals yeah so uh, trying to you know we're history people so we're trying <laughs> we're trying to do the maths <laughs> so let, let's talk yeah. about that because obviously Peter Shalilo you know from your time at Highlands yeah. and you know the consummate professional but a player with such form uh, it almost doesn't bode well for those behind him because I mean uh, how do you take Peter out of the the reckoning I mean he's probably the first name on the team sheet but then you think about the likes of Afonso you think about Mutupa you think about all these other players who also still need to maybe get to that level you know, I think with Sundance, you know, if you are a striker and when the league starts, you have to be in the front queue. Mm. Otherwise, if you're not in the front queue and you're staying be behind, it's going to be difficult for you to come to that front queue because you have a lot of quality strikers. You know, as you say, the Afonso's, Erasmus, you have Peter, mm. you know, you have a lot of good players. Sometimes they play first nine. They use, you know, Zoani there. They can use anyone there, oh, you boy. know. But uh, for Peter, I just think, you know, he has done enough, you know, not okay for him in satisfaction. It's not for where he is now he want to get better. And I feel he's going to end up in Europe. But for now, he has contributed a lot for, for Sundance, you know, and he can still do more because I know this Peter of a boy is one boy that do extras, you know, mm. when, you know, he stays close to Bafu there, he comes when everybody is sleeping or everybody <laughs> having is a little bit holiday. Mm. He's doing extra, you know, hitting the back of the net. How many, and how many Serbian players do that? Yeah. You guys how many, train, yeah. Yeah. how many, how many, I mean, would do that? I mean, the team trains there in Clorco, yeah. but he goes somewhere else yeah. to do his own extras. And carry on, and, yeah. and the other thing about him, you know, uh, or about Sundance, you know, Sundance, they have, you know, the complete package in terms of every department. But he, he, he just brings that different dimension. Mm -hmm. You know, he chases the lost calls, mm. you know, when the ball is going to throw in. Mm. He chases, try to get something. The goalkeeper is trying to catch the ball, he's chasing. You know, he gives them that different dimension because he can do 
you know, you can do the running for the, in terms of the, the front three. Yeah. You know, the other ones just need to pass. And the good thing about him, he's not selfish. If you're in the right position, he pass you to score. You know, as you say, it's assist, you know, and the goals he has scored. I think, you know, he's a great player. You know, forget about his outside life, you know, mm. which, I mean, everyone knows he's very humble. You know, he, he's down to earth, mm. you know, but, you know, on the pitch, he has delivered for Sunday. Um, Tim, I want to touch quickly on the cheaper situation because obviously them coming out today without look mil still part of the structures um with all that was said um from both sides you know because obviously it's about the comments being attributed to him and then of course on the side of cheaper they're saying hey guys we've been looking for something concrete to pin on this guy and we haven't found him we're in a predicament here's a coach who can come in and fix the team and help us and everyone's saying no who, where do you stand on this one? Because it's quite divisive. I, 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 you know, there's a practicality thing where you get that Mr. Mbengues, he's trying to save his team. And one of the best ways to do that is with a good coach. But all the drama that comes with MIL. Look, whatever is happening administratively in Chippa, I think it is translating itself on the field of play. There's no difference at this moment in time. Mm. So you have uh, the choices they are making over over time, mm -hmm. not only this time round. It's not the first time he's appointing Rook, and mm -hmm. then there was that uproar, and then he terminated that contract. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was that desire by Luke Emerald to go and try to clear his name. Sure. And there was that engagement with Safa. Uh, Safa was not uh, very clear. Mm. There was uh, statements that he has, uh, sort of, he has been cleared and everything like that, and then he comes back as a technical director for TTM, and then all of a sudden it's ending up at cheaper. And then the, this furrow again coming about, how do you, you know, employ this racist mm. man and everything like that. Mm. Uh, so there has to be a clear statement coming from Safa to clearly state mm -hmm. whether Luke Emil is welcome in South Africa or we welcome a kind of Luke Emmanuel in South Africa, or even the rest of the world. Mm. Because at, at the moment now, world over, we are, say, we are saying we should kick out racism. Yeah. So we cannot be one of those advocating for racism people to come and interact with us. So it's quite uh, a complicated situation for both parties. And right. I feel very sorry for Luke, because at this moment <laughs> in time, it's personal non granter anyway. Yeah, do you feel sorry for Luke? No, I don't. <laughs> um, I don't, um, until he owns up. I think yeah. one of the... One of the problems I have for yeah. uh, with him is that he, he, d he doesn't even want to own up. Yeah, sure. You know, um, he's blaming a everyone simple else. apology. Himself, yeah. Instead of apologizing, he says, no, this, uh, he didn't say this. I was recorded, this, no, I was without recorded knowing, thing, blah, blah, no, blah. And, 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 and you know, so, so I think for me, um, he's just dishonest about the whole process. Mm. And that's where you see, and, and now this is more than just football now. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you look at the reaction now, mm. yeah. firstly, it was the premier of the province mm. in the Eastern Cape. Mm. And also you must understand um, that province politically. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That is the province where the politics of this country, um, you can say they come from there. Yeah. Right. You know, the first two democratic presidents in this country come from that province. Mm. So there is no way that they're going to allow this. Yeah. And even in the, in the latest move now, mm. um, it was a political party, yeah. EFF. Mm, yeah. It's not even Safa, mm, yeah. you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's going to go on like that. Mm. You know, it's going to go on like that because... Uh, and but does it, does it need Safa to come out and censure him so that we can put it out No, they, 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 they did that, and then they, I think they tried to do something with FIFA, uh. and then I think the agent or the attorney lied of, 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 of Luke Emile no, to say yeah. he's been cleared uh. Uh, huh. by FIFA, only to find that there's no such. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, so Safa now, they were trying to work with uh, TFF, yes. uh, in, uh, their counterparts in, in Tanzania, mm. uh, in terms of getting to the bottom of this thing. Sure. But now, I think Chippa just must just forget. Yeah. Mm. There, there is a reason why, um, even in, if maybe TTM had an intention of mm. bringing Luke mm. the but there's a reason why they quickly abandoned that sure. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And Chippa walked into a trap. Yeah. Mm. You know, so <laughs> they walked into a trap. So they must just forget about yeah. him. Okay. At this moment in time, he has no choice. He right. has to own up. Uh, whatever happened in Tanzania, he has to own up. Correct. Uh, why I feel sorry for him mm. is because he thinks he's bigger than the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So he's the only right person amongst the rest. Mm. And that's where the problem is. He needs to own up, go public, apologize. Yeah. If he cannot apologize, let him pack his bags and go home. 
I, I think, you know, for me, in that scenario, you know, Tanzania as a, as a country, they will not come out and try to, you know, accuse you for something that you not do, even what you, you recorded on Noli, but you cannot say such things. You know, mm. you have it on record. We, we, we've you cannot we, we've, say we've such listened things, to the recording. We, you know, you mm. cannot say they try to, you know, put the clips and, you know, and I just think he need to come. A big, not a, not one for one country. Yeah. We're talking about the continent. Yeah. yeah not continent. Africa. No, yes, forget about, he can go to, world. he can go to work in Belgium. Right. They can accept him there. He's from Belgium. <laughs> But in well, Africa, they can't work in Belgium. No, I'm just saying, but, you know, yeah. but in Africa, yeah, and starting from Tanzania and trying to sneak into South Africa, <laughs> no, I think, you know, it's not acceptable. He just, more, he just need to apologize, uh -huh. not once. Uh -huh. I mean, double times in terms double of times. before, before, <laughs> before, before people but, accept but, the apology. Because apology, you say sometimes you need to, you need to ap you apologize, not from his heart. Because yeah. I, I heard him when he was, speaking, mm -hmm. but he was still defending himself in terms of scenario that what what happened and this and that, trying to divert everything to his family. Yeah. I just think... Let's not give him needs, too much attention. Exactly, needs, yeah. I, yeah. Say. I, I just think say. he needs to own up, you know, he needs to apologize sincerely from his heart and mm -hmm. people need to accept it. That's the only well, thing. Ah, let's, 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 no, no, no. let's not give him too much yeah, attention. Exactly. Because let's see what happens. give him too much attention, <laughs> yeah. it becomes important. Well, no, exactly. Let's see what happens. But yeah, it, he, it, it'll be in his hands to try and sort out what uh, the continent thinks of Luke M.I.L. Let's speak about other coaches doing well. And that's one, Gavin Hunt, who uh, now, with uh, the lack of reinforcements this season, has mm -hmm. managed to do something quite uh, remarkable as far as the CAF Champions League is concerned, gentlemen. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got a Coach Gavin fan over here in the corner. No, no, for me, I think, you know, right from the start, I always know Gavin is a good coach. You mm -hmm. know, going to Kaiser Chiefs, it was a big step for him, you know, to perform what he has been performing through the other clubs like Swallows, Supersport, Tibet. And uh, unfortunately, he went to a club that he could not sign any player. He has his own type of player, you know, that he, he plays on style. But, you know, you need to work with what you have. So with Kaiser Chiefs, you know, yeah, the league didn't start as well and they're still battling with the league. But the Champions League, mm -hmm. I mean, I think this one is this one big step Kaiser Chiefs have taken and he has done that. And the good thing, you know, going to this game in Guinea there, I think the good thing he did, you know, the, the, the balance of the team, you know, he has Nkobo there, you have Paka, you know, you have um, Bloom there, you know, Habiliat. For me, Habiliat haven't played, you know, for the past six games, he didn't play five, you know, and during the, 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 the preliminaries to this group stage. Mm -hmm. And he came and delivered. I think this was a big, big, big one for Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. I'm just so happy for them, you know. Uh, but it doesn't mean Gavin needs to relax because, you know, the other mandate for, for him to sure. get to the top eight, you sure. know, and I think he can do that with two games in hand in the league. I think he can do that. But I mean, we need to congratulate uh, the, the Gavin Hunt, the whole technical team, not him, Shepard and uh, Atuzawani, you know. I mean, how critical is this? Because we're looking at what we're termed as youngsters. He has to, you know, balance his, yeah. his picks as far as the chief starting lineup is concerned. But the experience that these youngsters are getting yeah. in a competition like this, yeah. look, people would have looked at Chiefs this season and thought about, like, doom and gloom. But this could well possibly be a silver lining that come next season, these youngsters have that under their belts going into a campaign with possibly new faces all around to enhance the squad. This could work out in Chiefs' best interest in the end. Watching Kaiser Chiefs play now reminds me of how Sundown started building their squad mm -hmm. today under Pitsom's money. Mm -hmm. It was these same players that were being groomed in the CAF Champions League. Mm -hmm. There's a different dimension. It's mm -hmm. a different ball game mm -hmm. altogether when it comes to the CAF Champions League. The way you play, the applicability, that experience is very different. Now, when you bring that experience into the PSL, mm -hmm. it's smooth sailing. Yeah. Because the, the pitches are very good. Uh, when it's Kaiser Chiefs, anywhere they go, right. in Bloomfontein, Cape Town, they are home, yes. away from home. Yes. So that is going to be very, very vital going forward. But if you look at how Kaiser Chiefs has been playing, there's that hallmark of Gavin Hunt trying to exert uh, his philosophy onto the team. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have had so many, you know, uh, you know the, 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 the fan coaches trying to come up and everything like that, that commentary. But he has been resilient. And we have known Gavin Hunt, how he balances the senior players mm. with the junior players. Mm. We always think that he's always pro the senior players. But there's a way he gives those young players under the wings of the senior players. Mm. And you always don't see the, uh, the junior players coming through. With Kaiser Chiefs, mm. they have overrode 
the senior players in performance. Now, right. what he has done best now is how he has managed the senior players to deliver in these critical moments for the team. But, but not just to add, you know, what Tim is saying, you know, in this game particularly, I just think I need to give credit, you know, to, to, to Kune. You know, I mean, I talked for seven shots, you know, he managed to save five. You mm. know, um, uh, Roya, they got 16 corner kicks. Mm. I mm. mean, they score from the corner kicks. I mean, the two goals they score is from mm. corner kick. But yeah. you can see the pressure in terms of the corner kick. Yeah. Kazakhstan have three shots on target. They score two. They have seven. And they, they only scored two. But you can see the balance. But Kazakhstan, uh, Gavin went with the pl game plan and it worked for him. But the only, the only disappointment is the, the set piece. You know, there's a lot of set piece and the result of yeah. And that is Gavin's I was strength. Yeah, I was listening to uh, his post-match. Mm. And, and he said um, in the post-match and also the interview that they supplied later on, um, he was missing the two big strikers. Mm. And, and, and because he says the duty of... The, the big number nines is not just when they want to score. Sure. Uh, especially when it comes to set pieces, also yeah. when it, it comes to defending. Yes. Because um, Castro and um, Nukovic, Nukovic uh, yeah. really, you they know, are at the they are there. Exactly. And, 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 and mm. at least they play their role in terms of assisting mm. um, the, the, the defenders. Right. So you are saying he missed them. And, 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 you, and you, you, you could see, I mean, mm. the free header. Yeah. yeah. And, and you could see it was coming, yeah. you know. Um, but I, I, th I, th I think for me, I saw something different um, with Chiefs players um, in, th in this game. Mm -hmm. The fighting spirit. Yeah. Um, it's, it's something that has been missing for some time now. The, the fight for contracts. Well, well, you can't rule that out. You yeah. can't rule that out. But I, I think, I think, I think no, it's also, no, it's also, it's also understandable. I, because yeah. I, I think within the club, yeah. uh, Chiefs has never... Uh, been this far, right? Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, in, 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 so they in, understand in the, the significance exactly, of the and I think they can even feel it from the village mm. uh, at Natchorena. You know, when they see even uh, the people in the management or mm. at, at, at the top, mm. you know, when the, you know the, the way they talk about mm. the, yeah. the Champions League mm. and how even the chairman of the club wanted mm. to see the team go f go far, mm. you, you know, in, in this competition, and the fact now. They had not been into the group stages. They went to the group stages. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> knockout. They are in the so knockout. Sure. Now. And anything is possible. Yeah. Is no, possible. for sure. For anything me, is possible. It's right. a home and away. Right. And remember, there are no fans. Uh -huh. You yeah. know. Uh -huh. But I hear that there's a possibility of the VAR now. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hear that um, they could be coming to inspect. I mean, if you look at our t at our teams that are left in the competitions now, mm -hmm. they are losing Loftus. They are losing Orlando Stadium. They are losing. They are using FNB. Right. Yeah. So we have no proofs. Yes. So for me, what is, is very key, it, it comes to, to the question of senior players and everything like that that has been pendled around, that they, they should be a, a clean out of, of this team of Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. People need to understand that building a winning team takes time yeah. and understanding. So transition takes time. So you don't go for a wholesale change. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure for now, many are scratching their heads. The players that are mentioned to be cleared out have performed. <laughs> to historical proportions. But, so for me, but, but, but it, does, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that now. the plans are going to change. Yeah. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. not a total overhaul. Yeah, right. But the, the but still, to, but if anything, that player puts himself in a good position for keep, another club. Keep the spine of the team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goalkeepers become better with age. Okay. Yeah. There's no way you can let Kune go somewhere else to become a very good worth, <laughs> worth asset for somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> when he's called upon under the circumstances that first this season, he's performing. Yeah. We have got Kamabiria. Players are different. Mm. I can train day and night, but I will not be to the level of yeah. quality of Kama yeah. yeah. So <laughs> how do you manage yeah. that? So right. you cannot compare a player who is training day and night with Kama The skills are different. Mm. The intelligence on the field of play is different. Think about so this. you manage Kama, them to deliver for Kama, you. Kama has been away. Broken leg. The, the team started the group stages that he's yeah, not there. Yeah. 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 Uh, they finished, he finished the group stage, he comes back, right. starts right. one game. Right. He's in the team of the week. Yeah. <laughs> not even that. The most important <laughs> goal to qualify oh, for yes. the first time in the yes. quarterfinal. Yes. Yes. So manage what you have to get you the results. Okay. But, but another player, and this is a player we were raving about. Yeah. Uh, Zuma. Tumsan Zuma, yeah, you know? Zuma. Yeah. And, and, and Zuma, we've not been seeing him. For sure. You know? And for he's sure. not been injured, eh? Huh. Uh, but he comes back, yeah. and I mean, he created the first goal, yeah. and because with the first goal, he's the one who yeah. took the shot, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and assist for the second goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and 
is also yeah. one of but those who are rumored to be on his way out. No, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. The draws are on 29th of April. Now, if they can't concentrate in the league, yeah. you know, you bring that form back yeah. home. And I like what Gavin Hunt said, yeah. which is lacking in most uh, coaches in this country, the fans. He mm. said, we haven't won anything. Mm -hmm. Right. For me, mm -hmm. that was key yes. coming from a coach. I'm not surprised now that he's a winning coach. Yes. Players will only celebrate in the dressing room. After that, it's the next game. And the remember, we don't celebrate outside and, and the And remember, they're unbeaten in the last six to seven yeah. matches. Yes. Sure. So there we go. It's good momentum. Good mm -hmm. momentum for Kaiser Chiefs. We're going to take that good momentum into the break after which we will continue. We'll reflect a little bit on Orlando Pirates and, of course, turn our attentions to what's been happening here locally in the DSTV Premiership. Monday Night Football on Soweto TV will continue after this. Welcome back. It's MNF on Soweto TV. Maskulima Ngama Paganiya, who themselves were able to make sure that they keep the momentum going. Their group is not done yet. They're still on their group <coughs> stages, but they're doing well as far as collecting maximum points um, as far as uh, their results are concerned. They have two more games still to go, one at home and one against Anyimba away. So that means that they can still wrap it up. But, I mean, you know, we speak glowingly about Chiefs and about... Um, how Sundowns are doing. Pirates also just plodding along. Oh, yes. And, and I think for me, for I think we've sh shared this point here, mm. that Pirates and False Nine and all those things, okay, granted, maybe the players were injured and yeah. they're still not 100% in terms of mesh fitness. Right. But here you could see the presence of... Pirates started with two strikers. Mm. And it's something they've not been doing for a very long time. Right. Because they've been playing Mdambo as a False Nine. Yeah. Earlier it was Lodge. Yeah. before you got injured as a false nine. But here, you could see uh, this team was struggling with the presence of Mabasa yeah. in the box. Mm. Um, also, Mango there as well, mm. you know. So, so and, and this is what you need. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here with two internationals, they know, especially on the continent. Mm. Uh, when you play a, a continental t tournament like this one, you need a strong um, uh, number nine. Right. Yeah. You know, yes. and, 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 and you saw Mabasa, I mean, here, <laughs> he, f he, forces, he forces the own goal. Yes, yeah. Here, he's there. Mm. He's forcing this save from the rebound. Yeah. You know? Right, the uh, pressure. A, a support striker or a mm. midfielder who makes a late mm. run into box and Lamini benefits there. Mm. So, so I, 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 I really hope now that uh, Coach JZ, keep going when we this. ask these questions, <laughs> he yeah. understands where we come from. You know? And, 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 and I think for me, uh, the, the the result of uh, ESTF mm. hammering Enyimba mm. uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the first hammerings. Yeah, you there's, know what I mean. There's more hammerings coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could get that in, in Nigeria. <laughs> Don't be sure. No, but no, but Bucks are two points clear at the mm, top. Yeah. I mean, guys, we 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 have to be honest. Yeah. Uh, things are going well for our clubs. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And 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 interestingly, at a time when Bafana Bafana has not done well. Yeah. Mm. Some people will argue that there may be, with the Bafana squad, there wasn't enough of a mix of these players playing at this level. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because sometimes we, we, we complain and we say uh, our league uh, technically is not strong enough. Mm. And, but I also, I don't want to quickly judge mm. just based on this. Where we are now. Where we are now. Right. Uh, and say things are going well. Yes. But... But yes, they're going so well. So far, so good. So far, so good. Mm. But this is what we need to maintain. I mean, so, it's, it's for the first time South Africa um, is going to have more than two teams yeah. um, proceeding to the group stages. Mm. Um, in fact, to, to, to the knockout phase right. in, in, in these two cup competitions, you know? Mm. So, so I, but I think Paris is clear there. Yeah. Paris is going to... to to top to top that group, right? Uh, because the next game they host Satifia on the twenty first, and then they go over to then they go to to Enyimba. But by the time they go to Enyimba, they would have clinched. <laughs> yeah, the they they so, yeah. qualify, Greg. I, mm. I think it does mainly come to the change of the mindset when it comes to the uh, to the managers and owners of the clubs, that is Sundowns, Chiefs, and Pirates. Before there was that disregard for the CAF Champions League. Mm. Uh, given the rigors of the travels, uh, the remuneration package that comes in compared to the PSL. So I think with Sundowns being consistent on CAF, there has been that eagerness for other clubs to emulate Sundowns, mm -hmm. and it has rubbed off very well. And now the club owners are no longer just participating just to honor the, 
the qualification that they have number two or number three, but now they are Hold willing to go and compete. Hold that thought, because I've been speaking to this club owned chairman who doesn't want to see his team yeah. finishing in the top three, mm. because he's afraid that if the team finishes in the top three, You'll have to worry he'll, be, about he'll be forced to go there. Huh. Mm. And I asked why he said, no, we're not ready. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't no. want to be embarrassed yes. out there. No, no. Yeah. It's also about the, especially now during the COVID-19. Right. right. Because you also have to go with, with the route of um, a chartered flight. Mm. Yeah. How many times we've seen parrots, chiefs, sundowns. During this COVID-19 mm. phase mm. of the uh, Kevin Duck Club competitions, right. chartering flights. I, I think is there no in, most, in most of the matches they've been playing our, yeah. our, our away, mm. they've been chartering the flights. Sure. And remember, when you charter the flight, it's, it's, it doesn't come less than 1.5 million. Mm. Huh. And that is just the flight. Right. So it means that in each and every trip where they play away and they're not flying commercial, the team is spending more than 2 million. Hmm. You, see, you great, understand? Sure. But I mean, is it so what you spend to gain? How many teams, how many teams outside these this three top teams mm -hmm. can afford that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not many. Yes, not many. Going back, to, going back to that pirate game, I just think, you know, pirates, they, if there's one game they have played very well, is this game, you know. Uh, I think, you know, with the, with the lineup, uh, which, I mean, the coach presented, you know, I think it was super, you know. They played two number 10. They played two number 10, you know, before, you know, as you say, they're playing first nine, but they play with a balance. You know, you have Hoto on, on the left, you have Mango on the, on the right, mm -hmm. and you still have uh, Makaringe, and you still have Glameni. But you, you have the left footers this side. Marco is there too. You have the left footer balance there. You have the right footer. And you have Mabasa, which the present is very important. Mm. And I think from the beginning of the game, they're just on the front foot. You sure. know, they're on the front yes. foot, which is very important. When you play home, that's why we say most of the time when you, you take advantage on your home, you say that with the Bafana team. You know, mm -hmm. When you play home, you must dominate. You must show the and opponent. Like the home let team. them know that no, yeah. you are playing at home. And Pirate did that. I'm so happy for the team. Mm. So for me, you know, Pirates, the, that this, this displacement and replacement was mm. done so well. Mm. Uh, when you get Mavaso getting drifting wide, you, you are is getting one midfielder yeah. joining in, Omahango cutting in. So for me, the balance was key. But what transpired for them to be very successful yeah. this time round is, for every second ball, there was pressing onto the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they never gave the opponents the opportunity to try and hurt them because they had more numbers up front. Right. So they have mastered that a kind of play and it will go well to mm -hmm. do service for them. Mm. And I like how, especially in this game, because um, earlier in the week we'll, we went to parades uh, for, you know, a preview presser. Yeah. And we'll ask, uh, we asked the coach, because in recent games they have not been scoring. Yeah. Like uh, we know how, uh, how they've how been scoring. Yeah. But what I liked in this game, Paris didn't, they didn't take long. Yeah. To it's get it's into the danger zone. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. I mean, you, you look at the third goal. Mm. Um, uh, for me, uh, I don't know if Paris will have hours this season, but mm. arguably they are best players so far this season, Dion Hotto. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. you, 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 you look at in, in, in the third goal, mm. how he wins that ball, mm. uh, that run that he makes mm. yeah. there on, on, on the wing, mm. the, the delivery. Yeah. The delivery, mm -hmm. you know? For sure. And, and, and that's the kind of a delivery that even Mabasa just walked into it. Yes. Yeah. So, and I think it was just two, three, four touches yeah. in the danger zone. Yeah. And, and if they can, in continental football, yeah. it's about that. For sure. Mm -hmm. Less being fancy. Just make it count. Kind of. Make it count. And and South African teams have got the pace. That yes. Is, that's diff that is, you can't find anywhere on the African continent. And they've got skillful players. So once you get those players, do those skills in the right areas, make the delivery, use their speed, they are going to hurt so many, so many teams on African continent. I don't think for a fact that there's any team that would love to play South African teams at this moment in time in the quarterfinal. Did you see the similarities, how Mabasa headed that ball and, um, that led to their own goal and, yeah. the, and the, the winning goal against Enyimba? Yeah. Did you see the similarities? Right. At the near post, yeah? Mm. Yeah. At the near post. Mm. And, and for me, Mabasa, this is one type of a player who's made for this type of a cup competition. Yeah. You know, so what does, the, where the does that put Mr. Mundele then? Eh? Where does that put at this Mr. moment, Mundele? he's back ah, in the no. queue. At this moment, you know, ah, no. you, I wonder about what Mabuyu Leva is. He's really, <laughs> his pedigree. <laughs> he, he, he came with a big peg, pedigree, but at this moment now, he's behind the queue now. But, but or did Orlando Pirates help 
the player? Or did they we, actually... We're not actually no, sexual. No. For me, this is what is interesting. Ingati, Ingati, Agent, come on, Dele. No, 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 no. no for, me, <laughs> for me, once it comes to players in Chiefs, yeah. Sundowns, Pirates, it doesn't matter which player is playing. You just have to be patient and wait for your turn. You yes, should, some time you patience. should be ready. No, if no, you come for a loan, no, 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 if you are coming for no, a loan for yeah. a big see, team, yeah. you cannot be patient no, 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 enough. But you understand? You can't choose yourself. saying that, <laughs> I'll wait, I'll wait. Because yeah. you're alone. Yeah, you're you need to perform. Time, time yeah. is going. Yeah. You're not like you're signing a three years contract, you no. have a two years contract. You're mm. alone. <laughs> when, you, when you perform, you need to play because you are there to help the team. No. If you cannot help the team and someone that have contract, right, so we must wait for you. No, you must go back to the queue. No, no, no. And the queue is long. <laughs> a pirate is not like you playing ordinary no, team. Right. This yeah. is a national team. So yeah. you're saying that it was I think was no. for him and he sunk. I no, think, thank you. I, I think I understand where you come from. Mm. That even when the the main strikers were injured, was he was not getting a chance. We don't have training. But because you but, but then, but training. But then we don't know what he's doing at training. Exactly. We're not doing at training. But then yeah. we also don't know what he's doing at training. Because yeah. if he was doing well enough at yeah. training, he would have played. He would push. No, yeah. No. When there's a shortage. This is a fact. When it comes to a team. Let me give you an example of Sundowns. Mm. No, leave Sundowns out of it. Okay, let, let me give you an example. Of, <laughs> let me give you an example of, of Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. Now you tell me that a player who has been playing week in week out yeah. can still play when Kamabidi at his feet yeah. play. He can still play. If he's calling week in week out, no, he can play. If he's on form, if he's on form, if he's calling, you no, have no coverage. But, but if he was no, just a placeholder, no, no, then no, you can no, remove. Let me tell you something. Even when they were playing. They were winning some, they were drawing some. Yeah. Mm. But when Kamabidian was fine, even mm. before the game, yeah. Gavin Hunt said, it's a must, I need this person, no, no, this no. player. He didn't have a good no, shot. Even, no, He's no, coming no. from injury. Even, even, even no, 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 no. this is there. This is what I'm trying no to explain. No, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Kamab can play, but no coach will be the main man. <laughs> no, no, no. We are saying that if a striker score week in, week out, there's no way to drop him. Yeah. Even when you come from injury, you are Kamabilat, you are, I don't know so who you're saying that But you have to go to the queue. Right. Because you cannot, a striker, we are, you are judged no. by your goals. No, no, if no. you score goals <laughs> and the team is winning, and the other striker come, you must go back to the queue. No, no. Anywhere in the whole world. Happen. It's only no. Barcelona that doesn't happen there. No, 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 no. You see, so there's, there's a problem of the queue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hypothetically, people will think that no, this player has been performing and everything like that. Mm. If you're scoring goals, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. Now we are looking at a, a player like Kamba Bilia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He has got a different dimension. A player who can have one extra touches to the ball, bring the rest of the other players into play, yeah. and create those chances, yeah. and even convert. Yeah. You cannot convince anyone that somebody else is gonna play. No. So what I'm See, telling you, no, what I'm we are saying, saying can't be that is injured. Someone else is playing. Yes. And, and, he's on, well. and, and he's doing well. Yes. And he's calling wicked. Yes. And Kalachis yes. is winning. Do you so take you him take him out, out and bring no, no, Kama. No. You are saying Kama Brilliant is injured. Yeah. Now we are talking about That's Kama Brilliant what, who what is happened? not injured and available for selection. Okay. 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 He he does give uh, the coach some food for thought there as far as the pieces of the puzzle are concerned for Gavin Hunt. He'll have more options, of course, with Nukovic and Castrosol to come back, and we'll see what happens then. We'll take a short little break, after which we continue discussing, uh, discussing more DSTV Premiership after this. Welcome back as we now discuss all things DSTV Premiership Lagu Soweto TV. It's Monday Night Football. Let's now look at uh, some of the games that have seen uh, some shifts as far as the table is concerned. Amazulu getting themselves a good victory uh, over Stellenbosch and uh, Benny McCarthy's machine. Whether he's brying with the betting or um, <laughs> making his players play, Benny has got these boys responding and it's good momentum. Very critical for this last stage of the season. Um, I doubt it's the team that you're referring to about their ambitions for the continent. I'm sure they want to see themselves on that big stage. But, I mean, is this, are they on track, Amazulu? I mean, it looks like they're on track. Surely it can be, Amazulu. I mean, if you look at how ambitious this club is, mm. um, not only on the field of play, but also off the field of for sure. as well. Um, the brand, Usu too. Mm. You know, the brand... Uh, a proud Luzulu team, you know, you saw even with the passing of the king, mm. um, how they've always been there. In fact, the club owners, even before mm. they bought the club, they right. visited the king, mm. you know, to get the blessings. Mm. Um, so so, so, so I, uh, this is a team that would cherish uh, the opportunity to go mm. and play on the continent. Mm. And um, because remember, uh, in terms of the Zulu nation, uh, I think especially in Southern Africa, yeah. um, it spreads just beyond the African borders. For sure. So, so I think as things stand now, a top three finish 
is a huge possibility, possibility. Right. you know for amazulu right. and, and the champions league finish will be a cherry on top mm. and and i think for me six wins in a row these guys they are rewriting the records yeah. almost every week mm. you know they are rewriting the records and uh, and i and i think with benny if you remember even with cape town city they were like this mm. the difference at Cape Town City, they would score but concede. For this sure. team is not conceding. Sure. You know, mm. uh, they keep clean sheets, they, they grind results. So, do you think he's got better tools at uh, Amazon that he's working with? No, I, I wouldn't even say. Mm. I wouldn't even say. Mm. Um, I want player because, I'm because, 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 because he didn't have a preseason. Yeah. He's not bad, man, bought many players. Remember, he, said, he came here when the season was already underway. Yeah. Uh, in terms of his through imprint on the team, we have to wait for next season if, yeah. he, if he will still be there. <laughs> I'm sure he will be, but I mean... <laughs> no, no, no. How, how can he be there when, no, uh, we are, we when be sure there's, there's a vacancy <laughs> here no, next door? For me, as you say <laughs> now... Getting there, no, coming there. For, for me, he must just stay there and, you know, still do well uh, in Amazulu. The Amazulu have done very well, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, where they are coming from and where they are now, I just think it's just super. Benny Makati has the Nombete and Munif there, you know. They have played 22 games, you know, and uh, they won 11, you know, draw 7. And lost four, you know, and uh, they, 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 they scored 29 goals and considered 19, mm. 40 points. But the big, big game, which is very important for Mazulu, is against Sundance on the 21st. 21st. Oh, that is going to be the massive one. Right. And, two, and, and that's in two, Devon, right? Yeah, in Devon. The uh. two Kaiser and uh, club. Golden Harris is going this way to Pretoria. One of the Pretoria team is going to Devon. Yeah. So the decider will mm -hmm. happen in that, in that moment because, you know, Amazulu are played 22. And uh, Saunders have played 20. Saunders is 20, uh, 46 points now. Amazulu have 40 points. Right. So if they win that game, they know that now, okay, it's just only one game. Saunders sleep, we can catch them. Because anyone that can catch Saunders now is definitely Amazulu. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's, for, it's left for them to do it. And don't forget, Amazulu have a lot of experienced players. And so you think Amazulu could sneak the league? Not sneaking. No. no. Not sneaking. Not sneaking. Not outright. Sne not sneaking. Make a, a charge. If, if you look at the engagement <laughs> of, of Sundown, mm -hmm. now, when you're used to winning, it becomes a habit. Right. Yeah. Now, you change the team and you lose 2 nil, you're in the quarterfinal. Should Sundown lose in the quarterfinals, mm -hmm. it may have ramifications when it comes to the PSL. Mm. Should Amazon continue the way they are charging? Yeah. A winning team has got always those characteristics of getting goals in the last minute, mm -hmm. grinding results. Yeah. yeah, but I think those ones we have seen them. Amazon, with the resources they have, they cannot crumble. They don't have so many engagements when it comes to local competition. No, but we've no, got, got time. Think, yeah, yeah. Got no, I think, I think I think the difference, yeah. the difference now in yeah. terms of the fixture, the fixtures. Yes. Uh, between now and around the second week. Uh, yeah, second week of May. May mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Champions League teams are, con uh, are concentrating on the domestic program. Domestic right. Right. So Sundowns, um, in, in, in the next three, four weeks, mm. yeah. it's just the domestic program. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's, it's the time, um, because it's also happening uh, even in other leagues as well, yeah. uh, with the teams, mm. Esperance, Mazembe, yeah. Al Ali. They are concentrating now on solidifying their positions sure. in the domestic program. The domestic. So, yeah. so that opportunity yeah. of catching up with them. In fact, now they've got they're, they're going to have enough time um, to 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 catch up with their program mm. and make sure that tho those two games in two hand games, yeah. they're done. Right. If they go twelve points clear, they go twelve points clear. Yeah. Um, also, because Roma. Games in hand are not points. Of course. Yes. But of but course. with sundowns, yeah, they've been like, uh, how many yeah, times they've been down. in this position. Yeah. 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 And they know how to do it. Exactly. Yeah. You saw they rested players. Yes. They, so uh, all of that and has those been players were, who were so arrested, they, they were league. unleashed today. For sure. Yeah. And you saw what, uh, what what that did. Right. You know? So so <laughs> it's, it's 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 the run in. Yes. The business end yes. of, of, of the of, of the season. It's favoring who at the moment. It's all about the experience. It's debatable. 
It, it, it can't be no, debatable. It, is. it can't be debatable. Yes, yeah. It can't be debatable. Uh, I can say. We are here. I can say. My land colleague here. Let's put five hundred. Let's 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 put five hundred. 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 Let's put five quality players, right. even the mm -hmm. ones that are not making the team, yes. they can easily turn up in other teams to be first right. level, you know, from mm. the goalkeepers to the strikers. So now, as he says that they're going to concentrate on the, the cup game and the league, I think it's going to be a, bit, a little bit difficult. But you have a Benny McCarthy team that now focusing on only the league. Mm. Winning the league is going to be a big bonus for them. Right. But going to the Champions League is a massive it's a massive Okay, one. so are we in a situation where Chiefs are doing well because there's no pressure, no one expecting them to do well in the Champions League? Amazulu are doing well because no one expected them to have, you know, such a great run in the league. No, I'm saying, the I'm saying, no guys, I'm saying, yeah. between now and the next Champions League game for Sundowns, yes. there's five to six fixtures Sundowns going to play at home. Right, yeah. in terms Surely. of... Surely. Surely. No. Remember Sundowns? Mm. I think there's, what, 33 points to play for? Yeah. yeah they yeah. need only 23. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Depending on how Sandown's playing now, we can say yes, they are league runners. They're running away with the league. Mm. But the DSTV Premier League has shown in history that that's not the case. We saw it last season. Uh, sorry, Tim. Tim, yes. who, who's won the last three league titles? It has been Sandown. <laughs> okay. But how did they come to win to take the title from Chiefs? So what I'm saying it's is. It's in the same way they're going to win even this. The way, the way they've won no, the last three? They, yes. They, they, it's because they always have no, to travel, they, they, have to catch up, they, but they always do it. There is a difference yes. when you are leading and when you are catching up. Okay. And when you have got games in hand. Yes. They've different. been in both scenarios. Exactly. Right? It's different. So we have got an Amazul team that is performing well. Mm -hmm. You have got Chiefs that is charging mm -hmm. to get better. Mm -hmm. Top in, eight. in a way, we, 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 competing, we, competing for the as league. we are talking now, mm -hmm. I did, we all agree that this. Two one result against Sundowns cheaper shouldn't have been that. You know, they should have been more. You know, for sure. So, so we are seeing that they can also crack. You know, one of the things where they can uh, also crack. But no, they got three points. No, come on, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. on. Come on. Come but you know what? We shall be right here. Come yeah. You know, you know, one of the, one of the things in the country, uh, and Tim has been in the country long enough. He's got that mid southern mentality now. Mm. Um, we are too quick sometimes. Sun Swallows was. You know, people are saying, yeah. Solos is going to win the league. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> you, they always you know remind us on Twitter of how we were I think, like, I think, I think for me, I think for me, let's just cherish. Right. Like, let's cherish we the fact that this is a, an Amazulu team mm. yeah. who were uh, uh, perennial uh, relegation yeah. Yeah. strugglers. Yeah. Sure. You know, sure. and, 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 and the team, uh, even when the new bosses came in, they were saying, we'll be hit with the top, top, four. top, yeah. top hey. four finish. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But... Benny McCarthy, being Benny McCarthy in the first press conference, said, you are the top four finish. No, I can do better than that. Right. Mm. And where he is now, he's in a Champions League position. Sure. Yeah. So, you understand? So for me, I'm already happy with that. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's the stability. So, for the, the, the Amazulu yeah. team. So, and, and also, remember, Amazulu, yes, they brought in some players, but they didn't make a lot of changes mm. to their squad. The Amazulu team I'm looking forward to, if Benny is still there next season, mm. is the team for next season. So okay. for me, when you look at Amazulu team, you look at the technical team, they have had it all when it comes to, to the pinnacle of football. Mm -hmm. Now, the latest signing, that is a disgruntled, discarded player, number 10. <laughs> I won't mention his name. You can help me with his name. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's that rejuvenation of this Amazon team. No one expects them to be there. Mm -hmm. But yes. now they have got a boss who believe, who tells them, listen, I'm a winner. Yes. What are you thinking about? What do you want? Mm. Mm. Go there and show me what you can do. Mm. There's no pressure. Just go and enjoy. Yeah. Such a team is dangerous to compete with. Mm. If Amazon can beat Sundowns, it will be game on. Hmm. I guess, yeah, that's probably what Mourinho told Upin. That guys go out there and play. you got nothing to lose for that Champions yeah. League uh, uh, final. Anyway. Yeah, but I will be rooting for Amazon that day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, it's going to be a cracking encounter with now what is the first and second place team in the table. But that could still move. A lot can happen between uh, now and the time that game happens. We can continue looking at the DSTV Premiership in terms of what to expect for the rest of the week. But also discuss Bafana Bafana after this. 
Welcome back. It's good uh, to have you with us here. Good Monday Night Football on Soweto TV. Kamala Mukamzambata now focusing on Bafana Bafana because apparently the search for a new coach has uh, increased in pace because obviously there is a tiny matter of those FIFA World Cup qualifiers on the horizon. Velila, you wrote an article for Itiski Times just in terms of looking at this whole picture. Where are we at the moment? What's the latest from the mother body? You know... Um if I find a coach said, "Yo, it's a, it's a, it's a mission." You uh, know, it's like it's, it's like it's this big political story. Give it to know? one person. There's only yeah. one person. No, no, no. But but no. Who's a, uh, no, but 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 but, but the, 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 you know, sometimes we like you know. There's a meeting. There was a meeting of the technical committee uh, last week. The technical committee is gonna meet again this uh, week. And but look, it's clear, they want pizza. Yeah. But can they get pizza? Yeah, I, I don't doubt. think so. Why I doubt. Want to? I doubt. Yeah. Because you see, with Pizzo, I don't think it's just a matter of, um, because it's Al Ali. Yeah. Right? You know. Mm. I think with Pizzo, there's always been this feeling that when he was fired mm. in 2012, mm. some of the people, or the majority of the people, are still in the current regime. Right. Of Safa. Right. And, and, and sometimes you could hear how he was talking mm. about how they let him go and, you know. Right, so as to where they and, was and, going And back. I doubt that, I doubt that Pizzo would easily agree to come back. Unless, unless they sell a very good pro, uh, project. To right. Him. But because because I, I, I know the last time we spoke to him mm. when it comes to Bafana, mm. he would have been keen on a 2026 project. Sure. And, and, and that's, Something that was hinted last week sure. by the technical committee that uh, it, 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 whoever comes in now, the project will have to look beyond just mm -hmm. because remember the, the World Cup qualifiers, they started and finished this year. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And in the state that we're in now, a coach will come in with less than a month to go to the qualifiers. Um, if we don't qualify, because. No, I mean, not if. We, uh, I mean, they will not qualify. There is not. Yeah. They so, not qualify. so, 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 <laughs> but so, 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 for me, yeah. Um, and also, look, the Champions League program mm. for this year mm. is coming to an end in May. Sure. I'm still interested to see mm -hmm. how he will be looking at this. Well, this but, is but, 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 but. This is um, the thing. Here's a man who's just won an yeah. award for his influence on the Egyptian league as a coach. You know, um, there's you know, coaches will tell you there's a day to dayness about a club yes, that yes, you yes, don't yes. get at national team. Yeah. Yes, you're doing well. You're going to club World Cups. You got chairman who's supporting you. Why would you want to come back? To I, I get it. It's his home country, but I don't know. The job for Bafana Bafana strikes me as something for a coach who would be out of work. How many coaches are going to be convinced to leave their jobs? You know, you know, um, fortunately, the, the, uh, we were here with two internationals. Mm. People say all these things, and I hear, no, Ben is doing well at Amazolo, but you don't know how many coaches want to coach their country. Yeah. For sure. That opportunity doesn't just come. Yeah. Sure. You know? Uh, but for Benny Mankar, he's uh, not off the table. Coaching, later, maybe. Coaching, but, but co coaching a national team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, co coaching, uh, coaching the national team. Uh, you can't equate it to any yeah. other thing. Mm -hmm. For sure. No, but, no, you know, but in good time. I mean, for in, someone in, like in Benny, time, in good time, it, it might in be too much time. too soon. There, no, no, but you don't know. Uh, no, no, no. It, well, it, was it too soon for Ali or Sisse? It wasn't too soon, but for no, Benny, Ali Benny is a different, sure. de Benny is a different scenario me, because Benny is one. Okay, after coaching with uh, Captain City yes. yeah, for two seasons and, le and left the mm. way they dismiss him, mm. Benny is a person that you want to engage day by day. You want to smell that grass every time because he's still building his career. It doesn't mean that he cannot coach the national team because of his pedigree, because of what he has done in terms of the national team. Players will respect him in the national team the same way they respect him in Amazulu now. But for me, national team... But do, coach, you think, do, you, from, do you think now, the, with, yeah. with this thought that... Uh, this chance is being presented no, to him. That's yeah. what I think. I think the right person. Let me tell you something. No, no, no. Sorry, no, no. Sorry, 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 I understand how you think for ben, him. Right. Yeah. Benny but being him. Benny. Yeah. Benny being Benny. Mm. If approached today, mm. he will take the Bafana job. Mm. For me, for okay. me, for me, the right mm. person now. Bafana Bafana job now is going to be a difficult one for any coach. That any is coach. Home. Any. You might, sure. Even though you, uh, you, there's no miracle. You're right. in a group of Ghana, Ethiopia. These are going to Nations Cup 2014. Which, which and now you're talking, about, you're talking about five, 
five but sports for the World Cup. They must just by, by, uh, bypass now. Don't talk about Uganda. Which Uganda, they need, they, need to quali they need to qualify. No, they need to qualify for 24 <laughs> tournaments before they go. Yeah, you guys, good. wait first. Uh -huh. Then Nigeria, we're there. We already booked our hotel and <laughs> training. We're training. We start soon. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, for the national okay. team, but for now, for now, yeah. any okay. coach that is going to come now, if it's a local coach, mm -hmm. Benny, B, Benny, Pizzo, they must, as you say, sell him a good project for the next World Cup, mm -hmm. for the next Nations Cup, mm -hmm. because this one is gone. Because there's no miracle you can do now. That's Except what I'm wondering. Is that what are the expectations for the next coach? Tebja, this is what's happening. Yep. It doesn't matter whether they are going to sell a longer project. You have a World Cup qualifier that you have to participate in. You have got the players that are playing week in, week out in all leagues world over. Mm -hmm. You just need a leader that can mold these players into a team. Mr. Team, to, to believe we didn't qualify it's for not, 25, not, 24, no, no, 24 no, 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 uh, country. No, no, We're talking about five of the best in Etafia, Africa. Etafia. We are talking about the best in those groups. Yeah. We are not talking about... Why we come no, out in why, a five no, in, the in that group? Why we represent no, each group? The difference is... The African Cup of Nations and the World Cup. Yeah. We're talking about the World Cup. So there's a difference. So they didn't qualify the good for the weekend. You start for no, Friday. But no, if you want to go no, to the dance, no, no, no. you must no, start. Tim, you Tim, must, Tim, you must, Tim you must, uh, you I, must, I think, I think Greg conference. is out of order. No, what Nigeria order? failed to qualify for yeah. the Nigeria, World Cup. But, yeah. Yeah. And went on to qualify for the World Cup. Yes. No. And it was not just them. Right. We uh, didn't change the coach. The coach wasn't even changed. They didn't change the coach at that period. Yeah. Okay, granted. No, no, no. No, no, no. Continue with that. But by changing the coach. No. Nigeria never changed. Which kind of coach is coming? In. Exactly. So you have exactly. you need time. No. You need time. No, we don't have time now. No, have in time. terms of this coach needs to qualify us for five you. spots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the time affects the coach, mm. not the players. Mm. So we are having players who are hurting individuals that they have failed to qualify. Mm -hmm. There is the fire that needs just to be ignited mm -hmm. to make sure that they believe yes. that they can they are good enough to qualify for the World Cup. This is a new phase. See, no what you're trying to say. There's yeah. something yeah. else. Right. But like, there's something else. Mm -hmm. um, don't be surprised. In the next, next Bafana for Warner Squad, yeah. if you see a lot of changes. Yeah. The, boys, that. the, boy, the that. boys The boys who are going to the Olympics. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In, in July. Yes. Don't be surprised if they dominate to yeah. see more of those. This, this team. Well, this is what I've said. As I've yes. always wondered, why is it the, the, the meshing of the under 23s and the seniors? Yes. Why has it yes. been so hard yes. to do? Yes. So, the, so the, there's that strong possibility. Mm. Um, whoever is coming, mm. but I think my issue with our coach, our, our search for Wafana coaches, is always over politicized. Mm. You know, too many meetings, and. And this is my line in, 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 in my article tomorrow is I am not even sure if the technical committee, remember they can only recommend. Mm. Yeah. And mm. even last time when they recommended, mm. their recommendations were not taken through. Mm. The NEC made its own appointment. Right. And I hear them talking about a local coach, mm. local coach mm. angle. Mm. But that's not what I'm hearing from the other, other side. side. <laughs> because on the other side, Left they want a coach right with hand. a proven track record. Mm. And the only coach with a proven track record locally now yeah. is the one in Egypt. Right. Of which I am not entirely convinced that he will agree mm. yeah. to come back. Sure. They, they, that makes sense. They, they can put. even go to request Pizzo to help them out in the qualifiers. When he's still employed with Egypt. Ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Yeah, because no, 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 no. That we have no, 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 no. That's a problem. That's too big enough. No, no, no. They have the quality. They have a lot of good coaches. Yeah, no, no. They have a lot of coaches that have a job to come. No, no, no. He's there in Cairo, and then he must come here. No, 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 no. You are failing. No, 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 you're out. The Uganda is out. The, the best candidate. No, no. Uganda is out. Too. Best wait, wait. No, which, which, about, wait. which country is no, successful? No, 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 which country is successful let, let and has been operating let, like that? Let me first finish. Mm. The best you have is Pizzo. Yeah. When we're talking about the local coach. Mm. For now, his track record. Egypt cannot easily lose him, but he's still the best. Mm. Now, Pizzo is going to come and say, I'm do interested. You, no. Do you think but a big club? But I do you think a big club like Ali will agree to that? Of course. They'll look at the contract and say, hey, look, man. No. This is why you're here. Hypothetically, let's, let's assume they accept. And then Pizzo ah, says, no, no, I'll no. take it on a temporary basis. No, Would no, you no. take it? I, no. no. Too Pizzo, many what else? Pizzo, <laughs> too many what else? national team, as you said, Benny McCarthy, if 
Uh, South Africa national team or South Africa as a whole say Penny come and coach. Mm. He needs to leave Amazulu to come and coach. He needs to leave. He has to because no. I, mean, but I mean because you need to entice him with something that will make, make him leave and send him a good project. The same thing with Piso. But the the right candidate now is always gonna be Piso. Is but that but I'm, saying, I'm saying yeah. I am not convinced that the technical committee yes. and, and the NSC right. are yeah. singing from the same hymn book. Okay, no. we don't know. Yeah. We don't yeah. know. Tim, yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have you time. Need, your well, ego demands a local coach. So the I, I, team I think the big is, is pushing for that. Want a foreign coach. <laughs> okay, so one half wants a local coach, the other wants an international coach. Let's see what we're going to get in the end. We're out of time, folks, uh, but thank you so much for my panel and the robust discussion. Uh, I'm sure you were with your volume busy going up and down just to make sure you don't blow your TV speakers. We're out of time. Thank you so much to you at home and to everybody that made this possible, my panel. We'll catch you up uh, in a week's time. And to everybody at home, look after yourselves. Be kind to one another. A lot of stuff happening in the world. Look after each other. Until next week, take care.